So this should be pretty fun. Now, I made a community post asking you guys, uh, what fragrances remind you of or smell like Axe Body Spray? We all know Axe Body Spray. Just to kind of put this into perspective here, you know, Axe Body Spray to the fragrance community is kind of like Invicta watches to the watch community or movement watches or something like that. General public loves Axe. The general public also likes a cheap watch that maybe looks like something more expensive, but when you dive into a, a passionate community surrounding said item, people rip it apart. <laughs> I'm not hating on Axe. I'm not hating on uh, you know cheaper watches or whatever. Just kind of putting it into perspective here. Anyone who's stumbling across this video and wondering, oh, why is it a bad thing that these fragrances smell like Axe? Well, that's kind of the reasoning behind why this would be considered maybe not the best compliment. And I thought it was fun nonetheless, though, because I've actually seen that thrown around a time or two when talking about some of these fragrances. Um, you know, outside of doing this video, people have said, oh, that kind of reminds me of this particular axe or this one. So I thought it'd be kind of funny and, and interesting to compile these all into a video here. Now, some of you guys went into depth, which was awesome. You said the name of the fragrance and you said which particular version of Axe that it smelled like. Others, it really didn't specify, but we're going to go over everything here. Let's start off with this one. It's Yope Ohm Wild. Uh, this commenter said that this one smells like Axe Excite. Now, I, I gotta be straight up with you guys. A lot of these Axe body sprays these days I haven't smelled. They've been coming out with new ones. Uh, the last time I smelled Axe was probably well over 10 years ago. So uh, yeah, I, I can't confirm or deny any of these here for the most part, which is kind of more for entertainment, but what I can tell you is I really like Yopo Wild. I think it's a great fragrance, especially for the price when you can get it in stock. Um, now, would it surprise me that this maybe would have a little bit of a Axe type of smell or or maybe a, a sweet men's generic type of smell? No, not a surprise. You know, it is a very sweet syrupy fragrance. It's loud, it's overbearing, uh, youthful, playful, that sort of thing. It's it's a Yope Ohm flanker after all, and there's a skull on the bottle right there. Uh, the presentation and even the name kind of tells you everything you need to know. Still think it's a good scent, but I can understand maybe where you're coming from. Uh, next up, we have a, a fragrance that I do not have. It's uh, Adidas Victory League. Uh, this person did not specify, but they said that it reminds them of Axe. And uh, really, an Adidas fragrance, that doesn't shock me at all. Okay, next up, another one. This was actually commented twice, uh, and that's Davidoff Cool Water EDT, the OG. Uh, again, two people said so. Neither commenter went into detail on this one about which particular version of Axe it smells like. Um, to some extent, I could see that a little bit, mostly from the quality standpoint. Cool Water EDT is not winning any awards for quality. It makes people upset when I say that. But, I mean, come on, if you compare Cool Water EDT to a lot of other $20 fragrances, or for that matter, Cool Water EDP or Parfum, there's a huge gap in terms of quality. That being said, Cool Water EDT, it's a people pleaser. Axe is also a people pleaser. So used in moderation on both ends, it can't necessarily be a bad thing. All right, let's go to this one next. We have Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Parfum. This commenter did not specify either, uh, but I can see that, you know, uh, I, I will say this, I prefer the EDP of Night Vision to the EDT, and actually I would probably say that the EDT s smells more like a, an Axe type of thing than the EDP does. Uh, the EDP isn't really too terribly bad for me. The EDT I could really do without, and uh, it's not my favorite. The EDP is definitely improvement. Now I will say this, if you're looking to buy Night Vision, this one here would be the one to go for. Uh, in my opinion. It's just more well-rounded. It brings a bit more to the table. The EDT was very much kind of a kind of a lame attempt at just grouping a bunch of mass appeal scents together. And so it kind of comes across a little bit rushed to me. The EDP does tend to fix that a little bit. Uh, but one thing is for sure, it's definitely on the mass pleasing and more generic side of things. All right, let's go to this one, CH Bad Boy, just the Eau de Toilette, you know, the, the head of the line here. Uh, this person said that it smells like Axe Dark Temptation. So again, you know, I am not familiar with that particular version of Axe, but I will say this, uh, this hasn't even been sprayed in a long time, as you can see, it shows how much I like it. Um, I can see that, you know, for me, the original Bad Boy, 
has never been my favorite. Uh, I would take Le Parfum over this one any day without thinking twice. To be fair, I actually really like Bad Boy Le Parfum. I'm not hating on the entire line, trashing the fragrance. The Parfum version is good. It's got cannabis, um, some patchouli, some woods in there. It's more spicy. It's actually really well done. Even Cobalt, I would probably take over the original. You know, this one here is just going to be very redundant for probably most of you guys that watch this channel. Um, so it's got a lot of sweetness, very playful, youthful mass appeal. Another example where the bottle kind of tells you everything you need to know. You know, it's uh, a little bit out there. Cool, but out there. Kind of just like Axe. So this one shocked me. Um, we have Valentino Womo. And this one smells like Axe chocolate, according to this commenter. Same deal, not uh, an enthusiast on the Axe fragrances. Uh, I find this one maybe to be, could be a little bit of a stretch, maybe not. Again, I haven't smelled the particular Axe that they're talking about, but I don't think it would be the best business decision for Axe to put out a fragrance that smells like this because mass appeal wise, there are so many better directions you can go. You know, this one does have a little bit of a, a challenging aspect to it. It does have chocolate, it's got iris, it's got coffee, hazelnut. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, it's actually a, a really good fragrance. It's one of my favorites, even just the original here. Um, you know, it does have sweetness though and, and kind of a little bit of a maybe playful smell. So, you know, maybe there can be some connections that can be tied. I'm not for sure, but you know, it was kind of interesting to see. And this one does not surprise me at all. We have Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, and uh, this one smells like Axe Apollo. So you guys know the drill for me, no clue what Axe Apollo smells like, but would this shock me? Not one bit. There are clones of Fierce all over the place. The original Mont Blanc legend, um, a, a lot of other ones as well. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch. There's probably so many out there that I haven't even heard of. No shock that Axe would kind of get in on that as well. There's a reason why. It's a woody, musky, masculine scent. It works, and it makes complete sense. Another one that's a little bit of a surprise here, we have One Million Lucky, which, you know, by the way, if you haven't heard the news, RIP, been discontinued. Um, pick one up while you can. Uh, but this one gets compared to Axe Excite. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the second appearance that Axe Excite has made into the video. This one's got hazelnut, plum, honey, aldehydes. It's a great scent. It really is a shame that they took this one away. Uh, I like it. I think it was one of the better ones in the line after they discontinued Privé. Now they've discontinued this one, so our options are going even further down the drain here. Uh, it's a shame. Now, could I see this one? Yeah, a little bit. It's loud. It's sweet. You know, it's got kind of maybe your, your typical tropes of an Axe fragrance, right? It's strong. It can be overbearing if you spray on too much, which, let's be real, most people wearing Axe always spray on way too much. Uh, so it can definitely probably get lumped into that crowd a little bit. You know, it's also a Paco Rabanne. They're not uh, afraid of making fragrances that are loud and, and kind of perceived in a more juvenile way. So, you know, can't necessarily disagree. In terms of Axe Excite, don't know what it smells like, but you know, is what it is. Okay, now this one here was commented a bunch, like a lot, and it shocked me. It really did. Uh, all the comments got a lot of likes as well, so it shows that a lot of people kind of unanimously agree about this one. And this is Invictus Victory. Uh, this one uh, gets compared to a couple, uh, Axe Dark Temptation and also Axe Gold. Wow, seriously. Um, I love the fragrance. I think out of Invictus, this is probably one of their best ones yet. Um, you know, Invictus Aqua 2016 will always hold number one, even though of course it's discontinued. Um, this would fall into my number two though, but out of in production Invictus, this would be my number one. Seriously, I love it. It's got amber, tonka beans, sweetness, vanilla, all of that stuff, right? It's a very, very oversaturated fragrance DNA. So many fragrances, new and old, are still using this type of, of base, you know, this foundation. And so it only makes sense that Axe would also kind of try to weasel their way in there as well. 
Again, I haven't smelled either of those Axe fragrances. Um, I'm sure there are similarities. I'm sure there are a lot of differences as well. Uh, I think pretty much everyone here commenting is going off of, oh, it kind of reminds me of that. I don't think any of these here are being perceived as, oh, it's a clone. And of course, we all know quality-wise which of these are going to win. It's going to be the actual Eau de Toilettes and Eau de Parfums and everything in here. All of these are going to be better quality than the Axe fragrances. Um, but it is kind of interesting to see. It got commented so many times. Um, so who knows? And last up, Halloween Man X. I believe this one got the most amount of votes or, you know, is right there tied with Invictus Victory. Uh, Axe Chocolate as well. So this one, not a whole lot of chocolate. There's coffee and whiskey and a little bit of leather, tonka bean sweetness. Um, you know, price-wise, I think this one is going to be one of the better buys in here. Actually, looking at it, aside from Cool Water and I guess the Adidas, this is going to be kind of the cheapest one. And I also think it adds some of the most value out of the entire list. Now, could it smell like Axe chocolate? Yeah, it might. Again, it has that sweetness. It can be a bit loud and overbearing if you spray too much or if you wear it when it's warm outside, you know, it gets cloying and sweetens up even more. Most people wearing Axe aren't going to be, you know, um, trying to match their Axe body spray to the season. They could be wearing the dark chocolate ones and, and all of that dark temptation in 90, 100 degree July weather you know how that's going to go over. So if you're treating this the same way, it could definitely get into that territory. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> 10 fragrances that kind of remind my subscribers of Axe. Um, thought this was fun, kind of something a little bit different, you know, no no hard feelings. I know some people are going to take offense to this and dislike this video, even though I had nothing to do with any of these choices here. It still happens. Um, I, to be fair, I like a lot of these fragrances and I still find it entertaining. It's all in good fun. Uh, you know, key point of this video really is buy this one before it's completely gone. One million lucky discontinued. Uh, confirmed by the brand. I did a video on it. Uh, other than that, I think that's where we're going to leave it. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.